Meet the first member of Hyundai's new Ioniq electric vehicle sub-brand, the Ioniq 5 compact crossover. This sharply creased EV has a surprisingly roomy and lounge-like cabin, a variety of battery and powertrain configurations and both familiar and new charging technologies. Believe it or not, this a production car. This angular crossover, okay, it's really just a tall hatchback, features a boldly styled exterior with sharp details. The simplified front end foregoes a grill, but integrates its rectangular parametric pixel headlamps into a contrasting front panel that stretches the width of the vehicle, a design that is echoed at the rear. The flank is punctuated by a strong diagonal crease that slashes across the doors, even the round wheel arches feature strong linear tangent details. It has been designed and built from the ground up as an electric car, the first on the automaker's new electric global modular platform. The electric platform features drive-by-wire and steer-by-wire technologies, as well as a flat battery floor. Without the need for transmission tunnels, a steering column or other intrusions, Hyundai was able to design the 5 for maximum interior space, pushing the wheels to the extreme corners of the body. The result is a vehicle that looks tiny and slots between the Tucson and the Santa Fe in size, but has a wheelbase that's 4 inches longer than the 3-row Palisade SUV. The Ioniq 5 will be available in four primary configurations, distinguished by standard range or long-range battery capacity and rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. The standard range rear-wheel drive configuration starts with a 58kWh lithium-ion battery pack sending power to a 160kWh motor at the rear axle. With 218 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, the Ioniq 5 takes about 8.5 seconds to hustle from 0 to 60 miles per hour, but it gets quicker from there. The standard range all-wheel drive model adds a second electric motor to the front axle, bumping net system output to 235 horsepower and 446 pound-feet of torque. The Ioniq 5's long-range energy capacity varies by region. In North America, we'll get the biggest, 77.4 kWh battery. Globally, there is a slightly smaller 72.6 kWh pack. The smaller pack, when mated with the same 160 kWh rear motor as the standard range, is estimated to cruise for about 300 miles per charge on the European WLTP testing cycle. Our EPA testing cycle is a bit more rigorous, so expect that range to potentially drop when the Ionic 5 reaches the US, even with our larger battery. At the top of the lineup is the Ioniq 5 long-range all-wheel drive. It boasts a more powerful front motor than the standard all-wheel drive model, rolling out with a total output of 306 horsepower and 446 pound-feet of torque. That makes it the quickest version in the 0 to 60 miles per hour dash, hitting the mark in just 5.2 seconds. Hyundai also estimates the Ioniq 5 should be able to tow over 3,500 pounds. Range is great, but means little if your EV takes a long time to recharge. Fortunately, the Hyundai Ioniq 5 has the automaker's latest generation of fast charging technology, as well as a few extra tricks up its sharply sculpted sleeves, plug into a DC fast charger, and the Ioniq 5 will rapidly recharge at up to 350 kilowatt, fast enough to go from 10% to 80% in just 18 minutes. In a rush, plug in for only 5 minutes to add a quick 62 miles of range, enough for a day around town for most. Slower, level 2, 240 volt and 110 volt home charging will no doubt be supported as well, but charge times for those setups haven't been specified just yet. In addition to being charged, the Ioniq 5 can be the charger, thanks to a feature called vehicle to load charging. V2L makes it so you can plug other devices like computers, electric bikes or camping equipment into the 5, which can be recharged via the car's battery with a total output of about 3.6 kW. There's a port beneath the rear seats that's activated when the ignition is on and, with an adapter, high-power equipment can be plugged into the Ioniq 5's exterior bidirectional charging port, even when the vehicle is turned off. Like most purpose-built e-versus, the Ioniq 5's design makes room for two trunks. In the rear, you're looking at 18.8 cubic feet of space behind the seats, 
which expands to up to 56.2 cubic feet when the 6040 bench is folded flat. Up front, and 0.85 cubic foot front trunk, doesn't really leave much room for anything aside from perhaps a charging cable. In other parts of the world, the Ionic 5 rear-wheel drive boasts up to 2 cubic feet of front storage, about the size of a carry-on suitcase. But here in the US, both rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive models have the same fun size frunk. We don't yet have a specific passenger volume number. But the Ionic 5 will make use of its cabin space with the reconfigurable living space theme, that includes rear seats that slide up to 5.3 inches and relax and recharge front seats with extendable leg rests. One of the 5's most interesting features is a motorized Universal Island console, which can slide forward or backward, giving passengers in either row access to its integrated 15-watt wireless phone charger and gobs of storage. By sliding to the second row, the console also allows front passengers to exit from either side of the vehicle without climbing over a hump, which could be useful in tight parking situations. The Ionic 5's dashboard is flat in design, and lacks a cal over its standard 12-inch digital instrument cluster, a stylistic choice that emphasizes the overall theme of spaciousness. That's reinforced by a column-mounted shifter, just behind the two-spoke steering wheel. The digital cluster is complemented by a standard 12-inch touchscreen infotainment display. Home to the latest generation of Hyundai's Blue Link connected services and telematics, and features totally new graphics. If that wasn't enough screens for you, the Ionic 5 will also be the first model to feature Hyundai's new augmented reality head-up display, a technology that promises to turn the entire windshield into a screen. In addition to the dashboard tech, the Ionic 5 will have the next generation of Hyundai's SmartSense driver assistance systems. This includes the first implementation of the automaker's Highway Driving Assist 2, which adds Lane Centering Assist, Lane Change Assist and navigation-based adaptive cruise control to the feature set. The Ionic 5 will also have what we think is one of Hyundai's coolest driver aid features, Remote Smart Parking Assist. Hyundai says it plans to make the Ionic 5 available in some countries in the first half of 2021 than in North America in the fall. Hyundai hasn't hinted at how much the upcoming Ionic 5 will cost. But since the current Hyundai Conan Electric starts at about $38,000, we estimate the Ionic 5 will open at about $45,000.